Oh my God, I'm so stressed out. This is not right. This is not right. How can I be... I mean, it's not logical to be stressed out like when doing yoga or doing meditation or painting or writing. These are activities that are supposed to be like relaxing. And do you know what's the, um, the solution? Practicing being present. Because then you... Oh, Oh, you enjoy it really <laughs> I'm stressed so yeah I gave me a break I like closed my eyes for a few minutes and I said okay I'm gonna give this message now because it's the one <laughs> I'm really feeling maybe the coffee I'm taking is not helping either I only take one in the mornings usually and sometimes but yeah maybe it's not helping either ah uh, yeah I was going to talk about, I was thinking someday I was talking about how cool it is to flow between activities. And, but also sometimes you need to, if you want to, to, to achieve some uh, things, maybe you want to write a book, maybe you want to uh, paint a series of paintings, maybe you, for your job uh, you have to do some, I don't know, presentation, whatever it is in whatever aspect of your life then we need some uh, like yeah some schedules or some at least some compromise some commitment with what you're going to do and yeah these days I'm, I'm trying at least to write one hour about one thing that I want to write about and at least to paint one hour because I want to practice as much as I can of course if I can give myself many more hours doing that, perfect, because that's what I would love. But, wow, it's like just, it's like I'm rushing from one activity to another, even if I'm, these days I'm practicing something that I like a lot, which is in, I haven't done it all the time, but I'm practicing it. And when I've done it, I enjoy it a lot. It's like between activities, I just, uh, because I miss dancing, I miss listening to music, it's like, I don't find the moments to do that. So I decided, okay, between activities, you're going to have, like, uh, instead being exactly one hour in that activity, just do 50 minutes, 45 minutes, and uh, dance and listen to music in, in between activities during five, ten minutes, a couple of songs, it's enough. And that's a way of oof, losing, it, losing, losing it, losing it up, which is, which is very good. I'll do that also after this video. Maybe I should have done it before as well, <laughs> because I'm quite accelerated, isn't it? I'm quite speed up. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, I was saying that sometimes we need some to have some schedules and to have the commitment of doing things regularly to achieve some goals. Okay, we do that. But um, we have to practice at least I know I have to practice to be present right here, right now, concentrating in that activity, which of course not all the time is possible, and practicing being present. And how do I do that? Well, maybe if I have some ideas bothering me about some other activity that I want to do afterwards or I want to say to somebody, I write them down, okay, I won't forget them, I'll do them later. But I still, but, but um, at least I have them written down, so, okay? Go away from here to my notebook, okay? Um, and just, yeah, oh, one of the things that, that I, um, I was practicing last week, thanks to this event that was the best of my week that I was sharing with you in the video of, of Monday, is in this creative uh, space that I share with some other women online, um, it's like when you begin this new activity, it's like you honor it. Like, like you take a couple of minutes or even seconds to say, okay, now I'm going to dedicate myself to this. I'm going to honor this time that are giving me and this activity to exist and I'm gonna do my best and at the end maybe it's good also that we do that like thank you 
to me because I honor this, this space, I honor this activity and thank you to the creative spirit or whatever you want to call it for having been with me today or maybe for not having me that much, been that much with me but it's there, we are working on it, we are showing up, showing up Remember what Picasso said, that inspiration comes when, when you are working or let inspiration find you working because then you can grab those ideas that come and, and, and make them true, make them alive, bring them to life. So, yeah, I would love that you would tell me what, what things do you do to practice being, being present and also like to oof, to loosen up this stress that comes sometimes in this fast world that we live in. I'll read you in comments. Bye bye.